But this is a planned response. So would you carry this? But this right now is a planned response. Going by the uh, instructions of what used to be ACPO. No, it's it's only trying to keep you correct because you might be in failure of the law yourself at the moment. What point would you feel necessary to use that? So how many? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in fact, they opened the gate yesterday. Start the clock. Four. There's at least a half is dozen it, tasers there. Pardon? At least a half dozen tasers. At least a half dozen. No, the thing is, three a lot in of the them, front line. A lot of them are empty. Uh, not all no, of them no, have no. got a taser in. Well, that makes it even more clear that some of them are aware that you're not allowed to carry a taser at peaceful protests. Right. So they should be leaving their tasers in their lockbox is that an in the car. Thing, that, is it? I like believe it. so. It's a firearm. Can anyone find out that on there, guys? If, uh, Maybe what message the, GBC. What, what the law actually is on carrying a taser at a peaceful protest? Like, is it is it justifiable or is he well within his rights to do so? No, there's about half a dozen of them actually have them. You see the yellow bits inside the pouches. Yeah, but before I'd not noticed that, they've just been empty pouches up until today. No, no, no. I called them out on it previously, and the next day they turned up, but they didn't have the tasers on them. That's what because you can leave them at the station or you can leave yeah. them in the car. Or so these lot don't know when they need calling out to do it because they're a different force and ran into them. Because that's the shade and that's the sun. <laughs> I've just noticed your glasses. That's funny. I've just noticed your glasses. I don't. <laughs> I'm standing in the shade. I've got enough sun already. <laughs> Obviously, going by my face. How many volts are in them then? 5,000. It's a line, eh? I'm not a voltologist, but that sounds like a lot. Shocking. Uh, 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 Shocking. Uh,
<laughs> OK, there's a Marriott's car trying to leave. Do you bother slowing down the other members of staff? No. Well, at least he's got a seatbelt on. <laughs> If you see just in front of the building I've zoomed in on there, the white 4x4 vans, they, uh, the two there, plus the three, four, five, six, seven in total, I think, are about to exit and the protesters or protectors are going to be having a slow walk up the street. Uh, once the vehicles, of course, start coming out, for some reason, well before the, uh, the vehicles are coming out, the police have lined up. So vehicles are still on private property at the moment. We don't take part in pro uh, protests on private property normally, so we're waiting until the vehicles come on to the road. I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're just sitting there drinking the water and on the phones at minutes. Yeah, not any inconvenience. Uh, but 
The cars haven't even no, left no. private property as yet, yeah, so yeah, the protest hasn't well, even started. Well, we, we're not joining in a protest about or on private property. Once they come onto the public property, then the protest proper can start. I would theorise. Would you? I, I, would, I would guess. Mm. It's a bone of contention every time, because we have been walking from literally the red gate. Yeah, but if the police start having... 20 or 30 people at the front of the gate blocking anybody from it, then it's... Yeah, well, maybe we should have got there sooner. Like they did. But as soon as we left the camp there, the police van was emptied. Yeah. You know, tactical Wednesday, we did obviously. Tell tactical everybody. Wednesday. We did tell everyone from the camp, yeah. but it sounds like the van's going to be leaving soon. You know.